one of the basic skills to understanding economics is to the understanding of what happens to supply of goods and services when there are changes in the cost of doing businesses and changes in the company's ability to produce a good. In this video you will learn the procedure for doing supply curve or shift problems, variables that cause supply curves to shift, how to determine the direction of a shift of the supply curve, to apply the procedure for doing supply curve shift problems to a typical supply shift problem. The following things cause the supply curve to shift. Prices of inputs, that is the prices of goods used to make other goods including labor, changes in technology and productivity, changes in the number of producers, changes in taxation and government subsidies, changes in the exchange rate. Here's a table that summarizes the things that impact the shifting of the supply curve. You may want to pause and view and to copy down the contents of this slide. The first column of the table lists the thing that, things that impact the supply curve. One of the things that impacts the supply are the prices of goods and services that firms purchase to make products for the public. Another thing that impacts the supply curve is the level of technology used by a particular firm or an industry. Another thing that impacts the supply curve is the taxation policies of national, state, and local governments. Another thing that impacts the supply curve is the number of producers. Final thing that impacts the supply curve is government payments to firms to encourage them to produce particular products. Generally, the changes of things that impact the supply curve are either increases or decreases in the amount of thing that we are talking about. Notice, however, it is not only the cost of technology that influences the supply curve, but whether the firm uses a newer technology or an older technology to produce the good. The third column tells us what happens to the supply curve as a result of the change. Notice that it is either going to be a shift to the left of the supply curve or a shift to the right of the supply curve. Let's take a minute and see how the table works. Suppose you heard a news story which said an electronics firm is investing in new technology to produce computers. First we need to look at the variable in the, the variable column. Next, we're going to look down the list and the first two items deal with the price of inputs. So they're not relevant to this scenario because we're talking about a firm increasing its use of technology. Move down the list to the next item, technology. Since the scenario involves technology, we need to find out what the firm is doing. Is it applying new technology or using older technology? Next, we need to look at the second column to see what happens to the variable. Now look at the two technology roles under the second column, change and variable. We have a choice between new technology and old technology. Let's check the problem to see which one we should use. Notice that we are told that the firm is investing in new technology. Since the problem tells us that there is new technology being used, this is what we're going to look for in the second column. Since the problem states that the firm is investing in new technology, the old technology entry is not relevant to this case, and only the new technology case is relevant. So we see that the, now we need to see what happens to the supply curve in the third column, the shift direction. The final step is to look to the right of the change of variable column from which we selected new technology and see that the supply curve shifts to the right. So when we work our problem, we're going to know that first off, that the variable that's changing is technology, that it is the employment of new technology by the firm that produces computer, and this will cause the supply curve for computers to shift to the right.
let's take a look at the procedure for working on supply problems. First, you'll need to sketch a supply and diagram or use the ones that are available on Blackboard or the CD. Two, decide whether the problem is related to a shift in demand or a shift in the supply curve. Three, if the problem is about a shift in supply curve, we need to decide whether the shift is to the right or to the left. If you decide to that the sh supply curve has shifted to the left, you will draw a line to the left of the original supply curve. If you decide that the supply curve has shifted to the right, then you'll need to draw a line to the right of the supply curve. Next, you'll need to draw a line from the new equilibrium point to the price axis. Next, you'll need to draw a line down from the new equilibrium point to the quantity axis. Then you'll need to decide whether the equilibrium price has increased or decreased as a result of the shift to the right or to the left. And finally, you'll need to decide whether the equilibrium quantity has increased or decreased as a result of a shift to the left or to the right. So let's look at an example of supply shift problems. Our example reads, companies that manufacture cellular phones reduce the wages of their employees. What happens to the supply of cellular phones? The first step is either to create a diagram on the left part of, like the one on the left part of this slide on a sheet of paper, or use one of the diagrams from the CD or Blackboard. The next thing we need to do is decide whether this problem is a supply problem. Generally, supply problems involve firms or companies which supply goods. Hint, you can also look for the word supply in the problem. So, is this a supply problem? Yes, this is a supply problem because, first off, the problem involves companies and, and, for, and or firms. Two, the problem involves wages, the price of labor or inputs, which you may remember is one of the things that cause the supply curve to shift. Three, if nothing else, the word supply gives away that this is a supply problem. Once we've decided that this is a supply problem, we need to decide which direction the supply curve shifts. Since the problem deals with the price of inputs, we need to look at our table to see which direction the supply curve shifts when companies reduce the wages of their workers. First, we need to locate the entries for the price of inputs. Next, we need to look at the change of variable column to find the entry where prices decrease or are reduced. Once we find the change in variable, in this case a decrease in wages, we can find the direction of the shift. In the example, the decrease or reduction in wages causes the supply curve to shift to the right. Next, we know the direction of the supply curve. We can now draw in a new supply curve. According to our table, reducing wages causes the supply curve to shift to the right, so we draw a line to the right of the original supply curve. Once the supply curve shifts to the right, it crosses the demand curve at a new location, creating a new equilibrium point which we call E1. Next, draw a line from the new equilibrium point to, where, to the price axis and label the new price P1. Next, we need to draw a line from the new equilibrium point to the quantity axis and label the new quantity Q1. Let's see what happens to the price of cell phones according to our model. Notice that P1 is lower than P0. Since P1 is lower than P0 on the price axis, this means that the price of cell phones sold by the company has decreased. Let's see what happens to the quantity of cell phones according to our model. Notice that Q1 is farther to the right than Q0. Since Q1 is farther to the right on the quantity axis, this means that the quantity of cell phones sold by the company has increased. So this gives you an example of how to solve supply problems using um, a diagram and 
the table of shifts. One of the important things to remember is that it's important to remember or memorize that table because it'll make it easier and speed up how um, your accomplishment of the problems. In this video you learned the procedure for doing supply curve shift problems, the variables that cause supply curves to shift, how to determine the direction of the shift of a supply curve, and to apply the procedure for doing supply curve problems to a typical supply curve problem.